All right, welcome, welcome. What's up, Ropes? So you just finished your last ever college math class. Gotta love that. <clears> that was hilarious. I'll tell you a story. When I was in college, I uh, <clears throat> I'd go to my advisor to uh, figure out exactly which classes I had left to take so I could graduate, right? <clears throat> and... Uh, I found that I was down to like four classes. I could get them all my last semester and I was going to graduate at a specific time that I knew. It was awesome. I tore out of the parking lot, get up to a stoplight, fly out of there, get a speeding ticket. <laughs> I was so excited. I wasn't paying attention and cop got me for speeding right when I left campus. Whatever. <clears throat> <clears throat> three more years, but at least the math is out of the way, right? Yeah. I'm a, I'm in a stretch where I'm uh, streaming a lot pretty close together because of my schedule. Like I reffed 10 out of 11 days in a row, so I couldn't do a whole lot then. And then last week I only reffed one day. And then this week, though, I'm going to be going Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. So we're going to play opening day the month of the end of March and all of April today. And then Thursday we'll do May. Um, and then next week we'll, we'll do a couple of days. I need to get, uh, I'm refing volleyball. I do uh, high school club and college volleyball, <clears throat> men's and women's girls and boys. So um, as we get into the first week in in May, um, my schedule gets a little busier because I have another big club tournament. Um, and then I have boys district playoffs. I'm doing two of the early round games and I'm doing both semifinal matches for this one district. <clears throat> yeah, so the boys high school and the men's college play in the spring. The girls high school and the girls college, women's college play in the fall. And then club goes from like October all the way into like June. So, <clears throat> but I'm usually done in the middle of May, finished. But I'm having to go back to uh, online school ropes. I'm, uh, I just finished a certificate through Intuit for basic bookkeeping. And now I have to go through um, QuickBooks. They have a program for you to get certified as one of their pro advisors for their QuickBooks so you can you can uh, do bookkeeping for people through QuickBooks. And you can get jobs with people that already have their stuff on QuickBooks. Um, so I'm trying to get all of this certification and all this knowledge and get everything done so I can go get a full-time job. No, I'm not an accountant. I actually thought I was going to go to school to be an accountant when I was in high school. And I was ended up going for finance, and that wasn't cool. So I ended up getting a communications degree, which is pointless, worthless. If you're not in TV and radio, which I was briefly, but I was like, yeah, I'm not working these hours. <clears throat> so, um, that's all of that. So that might cut into the streaming. It might not. Um, we'll see. <clears throat> but as much that I do with spreadsheets and numbers and having to be very detail oriented for refing and all the other stuff. And you guys see how I do recruiting for NCAA and use spreadsheets. I might as well get a job doing something like that. So that's what we're doing. <clears throat> anyway, on the screen, you can see this is the spring training record for the Cardinals. Last episode, we did the complete off season. If you didn't watch it, go check it out on YouTube. <clears throat> if I can spell YouTube right. There's the link. You can go there. <clears throat> it's not very long. It's like an hour and a half, and it's only 45 minutes if you watch it at double speed. I would recommend watching all of my videos on double speed. Um, we let some guys go. We made a couple of trades, three trades maybe, and we signed Walker Bueller. We signed uh, Max Scherzer on a one-year deal so he can come back home to St. Louis, pitch his final year as our fifth starter. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my allergies are just on fire today. I had to go out and cut the front yard earlier. Um, and so that's going to buy us another year for um, our young pitchers to develop. we got a handful of guys that just need more time. 
<clears throat> I also signed some veterans to be, play on the bench to give us a little bit better depth. Uh, we were playing some guys in the 60s last year, so we signed Adam Duvall, Kevin Kiermeyer, Whit Merrifield. Those guys are going to be bench bats, provide rest and protection in case we get injuries. We also signed very late Aroldis Chapman to go in the pen. <clears throat> We are keeping him from signing with the Brewers so we don't have to face him. So, yeah, we have Chapman in the bullpen now as a setup guy, middle reliever. Um, and we made a big trade with Philly and got Andrew Painter, one of their top pitching prospects. We traded him an A potential outfielder we just drafted, another minor league pitcher, and Miles Michaelis, and got Painter, who's going to spend all year at AAA unless we get an injury. Um the only reason why I don't do spring training on camera is I find it boring, and we have no young prospects that are going to come up and make the team out of spring training. None. We have a very set team, and it was pointless to uh, go through those games with the veteran players. Next year, when we get to the off season, <clears throat> next year when we get to the off season, um, we will do all of our trades and signings, and then I will do some player lock games in the spring with some of the pitchers that we're hoping to get onto the Major League roster either next year or the year after. So that will give us reason to play some of those spring training games. So we'll do a little bit longer off-season stream next year. But I want to get back into this season and get going. So you can see what we did in the spring. All I did was just advance to the end of spring training, and this is what happened. <clears throat> You can play some NHL. Yeah, I used to play NHL a lot, but it's gotten a lot tougher. I, I, I just can't play it anymore. My son, younger son loves to play it. Uh, Arnauto had a good spring. Donovan had a good spring. Contreras did better than he did last year. Newbar was okay. Gorman, power, but his average was low. Win with five home runs. Got like that. Duvall, part-time play, 385. Merrifield, 295. Uh, pitching side. Sonny Gray, 231. Scherzer, 026. Bueller, 167. Mats, 133. These guys aren't going to do this during the regular season, but you got to be happy with how they've played so far. <clears throat> Chapman has zero, zero ERA in the spring with 13 Ks in nine innings, like that. Romero and Sandlin are going to be our, our closer guys. They'll flip back and forth. Sandlin just got all the saves because that's where I had him listed in the depth chart. <clears throat> so... Anyway, I saved this as a separate file so I could advance to the regular season on the other one and set my uh, Major League roster, double-A, triple-A rosters, set all the lineups and the pitching rotations. But I wanted to save this and show you guys what we did um, in the spring training. So we're going to go load in our regular file. <clears throat> and uh, you can see we're going to start in Seattle. Then we go to Arizona. I'm sorry, we come home for Arizona, Colorado. West Coast trip to L.A., Oakland, and San Francisco. Come back for Atlanta and Texas. Go to Baltimore and Miami. So we have no division games in the month of April. March, end of March, all of April. <clears throat> so we're just going to have to play well to stay ahead of these guys. Um, here's the game plan for today. Um, we're going to play this full game on opening day with Sonny Gray. And then this next day, we're going to go down to AAA. And we're going to player lock with Andrew Painter and pitch with him. Because if we get an injury, he's going to have to come up and pitch. And I'd like to be able to use him early and see what it's like. Um, so we'll play lock, player lock him, play this full game. And then this game right here <clears throat> is Max Scherzer's Cardinal, Cardinal debut at home against his old team, Arizona. I kind of went through all of the the whole month early on to see where his starts were, and he's going to pitch a game against L.A. and a game against Texas. So he's going to pitch against three of the four teams, five teams, that he's played for. Uh, he doesn't get the Mets, and I don't think, yeah, we played the Tigers down here, but I didn't go far enough to see if he pitches in that series. <clears throat> but we'll get Max's first game in St. Louis. So that's the game plan, and then we will do – Player locks the rest of the month. <clears throat> no problem, man. So we'll we'll do some individual player locks as we go through these games. 
And uh, as we get into, uh, and we might just sim a few more games and go down to AAA and, and player lock and some of the uh, other pitchers, but um, try and get this thing done four hours or less today, so we'll see. <clears throat> but anyway, we're going to start off with full game right here, right off the rip. Sonny Gray, George Kirby, opening day in Seattle. <clears throat> so let's get going. I'm going to have them wear their cream uniforms. And we'll wear our grays. Cardinals City Connect uniforms are going to be uh, debuted, announced on May 20th. <clears throat> and then the first game they're going to play with them in real life is the 24th of May. So, very interested to see what that... Oh, yeah, closed. Okay. Not going to be open. <clears throat> And here is our lineup. Let me move my face out of the way. Here's our lineup. Pretty much the same lineup we had last year, except Walker and Contreras flipped. And Edmund is back in the lineup. Oh, we did get Henry Davis from Pittsburgh straight up for Matthew Libertor. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that's another thing we have. I thought about putting him in the minors in AAA and let him play and just dominate. But then I was like, nah, I'm going to send Herrera down. He needs the one that he's the one that needs to improve his ratings. And uh, we'll we'll have uh, Davis up here, and he'll give us an extra um, guy. He can play outfield as well. I think he can play right, and Contreras can play left as their secondaries. So anyway, let's go. Now I got to turn off this fan. I was outside mowing the grass. It's not that hot. It's only like 61 degrees. But I was sweating my ass off. <clears throat> Took a shower. And uh, I was still sweating from the shower. So, here we go. Let's go. Maybe I'll turn the game sound up just a little bit more. There we go. I always fly through these presentations, so just kind of waiting to see. Man, it looks, looks so dark with that cover on. <clears throat> There's our projections. Duvall with 34.95. Duvall's not going to play enough to hit 34.95. <laughs> they have us winning 89 games and winning the division. We won 90 games last year and won the division, so I'm hoping we're better than that with the guys we added. So, plus our younger guys are another year older, so. <clears throat> Kirby had a good year last year. And here we are, boys. Opening day, year number two, Cardinals franchise. Man, my eyes are watering so bad from my allergies, and I already took a Zyrtec. <clears throat> here we go, right up the middle. First batter, base hit. Way to get the season going. All of our new bench players are on the bench for this game, so you won't see any of them unless we do a pinch hit or a defensive sub or something. <clears throat> I Yeah, Donovan's in left, so we've got Jordan Walker DHing, so we don't have to worry about his shitty defense. We're just going to live with Gorman at second base. Donovan's in left. We can always move Donovan in to play second late in the game and bring in Kiermaier or Duvall to play outfield. If we get an injury like Mason Wynn gets hurt, then Tommy Edmonds is going to come in and play every day at short, and that's why we would need Dunn and Kiermaier. So I'm uh, protecting myself since we did not have Tommy Edmond for all of the playoffs last year. A little fister. It's going to get down. All right, two guys. First two guys reach. Got to like it. <clears throat> Got to love that. 
quick start. Kirby is not an easy guy to face. Yeah, I'm gonna get greedy. <clears throat> Didn't get my hands in far enough. All right, now we can just stay out of double play. Got the two Nolans back to back, so see if Gorman, who did drive in 100 runs last year, we got to get him into 35 home run range. Ooh, 35, 40 home runs. He needs to take a step up. This guy has a sinker and a splitter. <clears throat> Late. <clears throat> Almost snuck that fastball by me. I'm still looking for something down in the uh, in the box. I don't think I got enough of that. Don't think so. I think it's on the track. But no, I was wrong. It's gone. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, yes, yes. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Two singles and a three-run blast gets us going quick. Didn't feel like I got all of that one. <clears throat> it's like off the end of the bat. Had enough. Snuck over the wall. All right, Jordan. Ball, that's out. <clears throat> I did play some Diamond Dynasty earlier. I did the uh, Team Affinity 2 uh, showdown thing. And I was like on fire with that. Surprisingly so, like more so than ever. <clears throat> ah, got, got over anxious to swing. Ooh, just missed. I'm going to look down in the uh, zone here. All right, full count. Swung the ball for it. This is his 20th pitch, and he only has one out. And we draw a walk. All right. Good AB. Made him work. <clears throat> Come on, Lars. It's got to be the shoes. Oh. It was right there, but that was weak contact. All right. Hey. At least seven batters in the first inning is a good sign. Let's see if Contreras can find a hole somewhere. One -oh. <clears throat> yeah, we desperately missed Tommy Edmond, both defensively and offensively, in the Braves series. And that's going to get through. All right. Four hit first inning. Jam shot past the second baseman. And here comes the uh, aforementioned Tommy Edmond. He's on the last year of a contract. Yeah, got in on me. He's in the last year of his contract, and I will wait to see what kind of regression he does, if any. We do have a guy in the minors named Victor Scott who has uh, good contact, no power at all. Gold glove defense and 99 speed and 99 steel. Dude stole 100 bases in the minors last year, so... We do have a replacement <clears throat> in the system if I don't want to re-sign Edmund. And I'm not opposed to bringing Edmund back in a semi-starting platoon utility role. Uh, Duvall, Kiermaier, and Whitfield were all signed to one-year deals just to uh, give us time to get some other guys leveled up and just just give us a little deeper bench. Was not happy with that bench last year. <clears throat> Definitely hurt us when we got to the playoffs because we, we were having a DH couple of guys that shouldn't have been in the major leagues that 
that time. Got him. Here we go. A little backdoor slurve in there. Let's see if he wants that high heat. It was a little more down than I wanted, but we'll take that. Jammed him. Two down. Sonny is, uh, I'm very comfortable pitching with Sonny. I like his motion, the timing of his motion, and the pitch mix that he has. <clears throat> and you can sit down as well. There we go. Guys will have to let me know how you like the um, format because we, we used to do three full games and just sim the rest and do a month at a time. And this year we've gone to more so one full game and then player lock and a bunch of guys to uh, play as some different players, get to see more teams in game action. So any input you guys have, whether it's here or on YouTube, is um, appreciated. Doesn't mean I'll take that advice, but I will consider it and think about it. It's always nice to know if people like something you're doing or don't like it or have a different idea that I hadn't thought of, you know. Tail up. Is that how you say that? Welcome in, man. Tail OB. Ooh, that thing backed up on me. That little sinker almost looked like a knuckleball, a hard knuckleball. Uh, I tried to fight that off and I chased. That's alright. Get out of play. Get out of play. You almost caught that ball in this game hangs in the air way too long. That's a big fly out to deep center. He doesn't have the power. We hit that straight. If that was Gorman or Arenado. That might have been a home run. Yeah, first pitch swing is never good. So, guys that missed the first season, there was a point during the year where we almost traded for um, Fernando Tatis Jr. Decided not to go that route. Decided to go with Cleveland and get three guys that could help us right away. Um, but if I was going to like do this all over again, even though we won the division and won a playoff round and made it to the DS, if I was like going to start all over again, I think I would have made that trade for Tatis and not worried about the first season and uh, just added that stud young player on top of what we already had because we weren't giving up shit for him but I know there was votes in the chat for that but I wanted to go with what was best long term but jammed him got in his kitchen bad <clears throat> He's just swinging at everything, isn't he? See if he likes this. Nope. I almost dotted him up on the upper corner. Let's try this. A little backdoor slur of action. Ooh. My goodness. There we go. Took a little off of that sinker. I had three pitches that could have dotted him up for sure.
That should have been hit a long fucking way. Buster Cherry all the time. Doing good today. Got some shit done early. How are you today? Ah. Just started season two with the Cardinals, so. Got off to a quick start with, uh. Throw it. There we go. Nolan Gorman hit a three run homer in the first inning, so that was, uh, very eventful. Good pitch. For whatever reason, today I'm seeing pitches way better than I did the last two episodes. That's going to get down. Get down, get down. He's too slow to get a double. All right, Nolan. Pitch number four went over the wall. Mm. Got to stay off that. We need it down here. Right there. That's going to be down. He's going to have to hold. All right. A single and a three-run homer. That's a good start to the year for him. All right, Jordan. Your turn. And that's going to be inside the bag, and that's going to get at least one run home. He's going to go for two, and we're going to hold him up at third base, and it's four to nothing, boys. Right inside the bag. Kirby is a much better pitcher than this, but we're putting a hurting on his stats right off the gate. Come on, Lars. I said last season, Lars hits line drive home runs. He doesn't hit too many towering shots. He just hits lasers. That's too high. Got the bullpen going already in the third inning. Trying to find his number of pitches he's thrown, but the scoreboard was a little jacked. That's going to get another run home and a guy to third. And it's 5 nothing. And now if we can hit another fly ball, we're going to have a 6 nothing lead in the third inning. And that's it for Kirby. He's done. Mauricio Lovera. Sports trap. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate you, man. Playing some NBA 2K. Welcome, welcome. How was your stream, man? Are you doing a uh, franchise? Are you doing something else? What are you doing over there for 2K? <clears throat> I think the last time I played a lot of... of uh, Viewer League? Nice. Ah. Last time I did 2K, uh, Kevin Garnett. No. Kevin Kevin Durant from Oklahoma City was on the cover. That's how long ago. Whatever year that was. 18. Franchise is doing well. This is year two. So year one, that's going to get us a run in. Year one, we uh, won 90 games. Won the division. Beat the Cubs in the first round of the playoffs, but lost to the Braves in the last or the second round. So, and that's going to get over his head. So, uh, you know, we did win a playoff series, but then we ended up losing to the Braves, even though we were up two games to one. We lost the last two games of that series. And then the Braves ended up losing to Baltimore in the World Series. So, we did the... Uh, off season last night it was a quick hour and a half stream and in and out and done. Ah. So I'm trying to squeeze in episodes, which are a month long. I stream a whole month at a time. Don't swing at that. Um, 
when I can. We're only going to have a couple of days this month, this month, this week. A couple of days this week to stream, so get in here and get it started, get a third of the way through the season there. He struck out again on a shitty slider both times. I'm not being patient with him at the plate. <clears throat> yeah, I used to work in fantasy sports, and uh, so I followed the NBA a whole lot more back then. Now I don't watch it at all. front well there goes the no hitter <clears throat> yeah right now there are no no players that I just want to watch doesn't help that I don't watch college basketball because these guys are so many so many one and dones and transfers that I can't keep track of who's where anymore so I just don't watch got him there we go that was a big K Kept that guy at second base. Ooh, I just missed. God damn it. Got him to chase. Thank you very much. Let's go up high. And let's going to foul that off. I'm going to go up high again. And now we're going to get that backdoor slur. Got him. Yep, yep. Work him up and in, up and in, up and in. Drop that shit on the low corner right there. Damn these foul balls. All right. No damage. One base runner. Let's go. Three in the first and three in the third. We are on a roll. That's going to get scooped. On a roll early this year. So if you didn't be see the beginning of the stream, we had the best record in spring training, 21 and 8. And uh, we're going to play this full game. The Cardinals have an off day. It's going to get caught. They have an off day tomorrow, so we're going to go down to triple a and uh, do a player lock with andrew painter who we got from philadelphia in the offseason and uh player lock with him and get his first start in the organization and then we'll sim some games and then we're going to player lock with max scherzer for his first home game against arizona and then we'll uh do some simming do some other player lock games and uh see how it goes from there it's going to be down. Arnau's going to get a double this time. Doesn't have the wheels he used to, but he's got enough to get into a second base with a double. All right. He's got two hits on the day. I told you, I'm seeing it well today. It's not every day. Whoa, 
haven't even taken any uh, creatine either. Usually that lights up my brain, man. I can focus like nothing else. All right, Gorman, three-run homer and a single. Oh, way out in front of that pitch. Late swing, jammed me. Good pitch. Just missed. Time for the old backdoor slurve. See if he takes this. Thank you. <laughs> Nice if they would put some of these balls in play so I don't have so many long pitch ABs. All right, Cal, we're not going to mess around. We're just going to try and paint this corner. Thank you. Roll that over. Two down. short at bat nine hits in four innings mm. got on me quick couldn't adjust my uh, radical. Man, that was right down the pipe and I was late. There we go. It's only going to be a single because... Rodriguez is lightning fast out there in center field. Ooh, right down the middle. Didn't get enough. up tight spot welcome in man Tommy two bags up uh, late 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 decision to swing tight spot we got a three run blast from Nolan Gorman in the first uh, dip that PCI to go down and get it it's just a weak pop up knock George Kirby out before the end of the third inning Ranked and chilling, nice. How's the wife doing?
Got him. That slurve is working today, boys. That's seven Ks in the fifth inning. Help me out. I like that. This bat waggle is messing with my timing on the uh, meter. Okay, it's all right. Missed. Missed completely. That was supposed to be down and away, and it was up and right over the middle of the plate. We're lucky that stayed in the park. Got him. Ring him up. Come on. Too late getting to the ball. That's okay. Boom. Revamp with the sub. Thank you, man. 34 months. Look at you. Shout outs there. How's it going? Well, Nolan Gorman hit a three run homer in the first inning. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going pretty good for opening day. Mad Max is our number five. We signed Walker Bueller and Mad Max, and we added late in the uh, offseason, we added a Roldis Chapman to uh, the middle of our bullpen. There we go. That'll finally be his first hit. And that's going to be a double because he's going to beat that throw. Yep, yep, yep. We mostly added a bunch of veterans to uh, fill out our bench. Adam Duvall, Whit Merrifield, Kevin Kiermeyer, um, Bueller, Scherzer, Chapman. We got enough good young players on the team. We needed to... Uh, Bolster that bench. What's up, Specta? How you doing, man? Revamp, I changed my mind. I did uh, redshirt some players for NWO. Um, just in case. Specta, I know you were you were in you were in um, Param Crow's stream yesterday with me and Jimmy and Coach Brusso. And he said in his live stream yesterday. Oh, yes, Josh Naylor with a deep bomb to right field. Boom. <laughs> 4.15. My goodness. 
Um, Param said in his live stream yesterday that he heard from an insider person that he knows that the reason why the new college football game is called ESPN College Football and not NCAA football is because they believe it's a one-off, that they're not going to make it a series that if they do any like rosters or other upgrades to the game, it's going to be like DLC subscription to upgrade it, which I found to be quite interesting that that game is supposedly no one said it live, but it's going to be a, a one-off. Yeah, I was, but you know, Nobody knows anything with this game anymore. Nobody knows a fucking thing. The reason why I, I would tend to believe that is I think EA would not want to have too much competition for Madden. They don't want to take people away from Madden on a yearly basis. There we go. That's three hits for Arnado. They do not want to make a yearly competitor to take away players because i'll tell you what when when ncaa was out and it was coming out every single year i did not buy madden i was only playing ncaa yeah there are people who will buy both but there are also people like me who would not play ncaa who who would not play madden we would just play ncaa so we'll see we definitely will see and this team is on fire that's gorman's third hit of the game we have 14 hits and we're only in the sixth inning Here's here's the settings for anybody who wants to see what we're doing. It's Hall of Fame hitting and legend pitching. <laughs> yes, back to I am I will wait for EA play for uh Madden going forward. I can get all of my Madden gameplay just by watching Hurricane on his uh, two channels. Oh, that's going to drop. Get down. Get down. It's a bloop single, but it's going to score another run. It's 9-1 to one on opening day, guys. Yeah. Before I gave them away, I had NCAA 12 and 13. Oh, I still have 13. I had I had the one with with uh, what what's the fucking running back for Alabama that ended up with the Saints? Ingram Ingram was on the cover. Yeah, I'm I'm burned out between streaming and doing all that stuff. I'm I'm a little burned out on 14. That's why we haven't. Is he gonna beat that out? Almost. That's why I haven't played a whole lot of uh, Louisiana, even though we're on a 55-game winning streak. <clears throat> yeah. Where's Sonny at? 94 pitches. He's coming out of the game. We got two righties. Let's go with uh, Barlow. And uh, see if we just can't finish this game off. We get a stretch of left-handed batters here. I'll bring in the roll as Chapman so you can see him in a Cardinals uniform. The yeah, Spectre, I think this year was uh, a little more difficult for for revamp. Yeah, he did win, but I think. It uh, it was it was not as dominating as he has done in the past. As good a player as he is, you know, sometimes other people can improve. And it uh, makes you work a lot harder. That shit working that hard does get old after a while.
Got it. Hey, is uh, is Cincy back with Florida State? Did he have to make a new coach to go back to Florida State? His coach's name is USN TV. <laughs> Baby back Barrett. That little Hitler looking motherfucker. There we go, get through. Everyone's checked up a week eight. I, I was battling to the end, trying to make a bowl game. Yeah. I wouldn't mind if we took a, a couple of weeks off here. Get me through my uh, ref season. I told you I was hitting really, really good this morning on Diamond Dynasty, so I'm not surprised we're having this kind of game. Some days you see everything, and other days it's like you're playing with your eyes closed. Revamp, I had a chance. I was doing the offseason. I was going through some trades. And Texas was willing to trade us Adolis Garcia. Ball, that's out. And not for very much. It's either Mats or Michaelis in a minor leaguer. <laughs> get up the middle. Oh, what a dive. And he's going to pick it up and step on the bag and get a double play. What kind of bullshit is that? When does that ever happen for us? Never. Never. Fucking CPU cheats on defense. Cheats on defense. Look at that. Fucking bogus bullshit. <sighs> 14 pitches. It's a roll this time. First pitch, 100 miles an hour, top of the zone. Second pitch, 100 miles an hour at the top of the zone. And then we throw an 87 mile an hour slider. And we get him with a splitter. Let's come back with that. Nope. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Roll has only cost us two million dollars. And we kept him off the Brewers. Zach Wilson to the Broncos? No, don't do that. Please don't do that. It gets harder and harder to root for the Broncos every year the way they keep doing shit, so I don't need Zach Wilson playing quarterback for the fucking Broncos. What did he get traded for? Hopefully a bag of fucking balls. Better not be anything higher than a fifth round pick. Got him.
Well, I will tell you from personal experience because I lived in Colorado for five years. While I was in college, the women out there love to fuck. They don't want to date you. They just want to bang you. So he'll have all the uh, women he wants out there. Naylor with another rope. This one right at the right fielder. So they just dropped a six down to seven to get Wilson. Yeah, well, traded one head case Wilson for another head case Wilson. Just give him the same number. And here we go, Nolan. Three for four with a three run blast and two singles. Should have took that pitch. All right. Six outs to go on defense. Let's go. We have a day off tomorrow, so I don't mind throwing these guys all today. Just bring a new guy out each inning. Let's go. Nine to one through eight. Let's go. Cardinals are off um, tomorrow on the schedule, so we're going to go down to AAA and player lock with Andrew Painter and get his first start as a Cardinal. And then we'll sim some games, get back to uh, Bush, and we'll uh, player lock with Max Scherzer for his first start as a Cardinal against his old team, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hey, revamp in the like the first month of the season, Scherzer gets to face Arizona, LA, and Texas. Three of his former teams in the first month of the season. <laughs> we do play uh, the Yankees, I'm sorry, the Mets and Detroit later in the season. I don't think it works for him to face the Mets, but he still could face the Tigers after the All-Star break. Yeah. Mm, way behind on that one. one, ball, one strike. So it's the uh, reunion tour. Get down. There we go. Dig. Go to third. Another base hit. We 
I keep smoking like this, you might have to go to legend hitting. Another excellent play up the middle. Fucking JP Crawford's killing me today. All right. And we'll bring in a right-handed pitcher to finish this off. This guy is such a big sweeping slurve. Thank you very much. Newt, get on your horse, man. Get on your horse. Thank you. Wasn't sure he was going to get there. I thought it was going to be a double. <clears throat> guys might want to refresh just a little bit. It's just a lag and a touch. Yeah. Felt like uh, felt like trying for the uh, circus catch. Inside the park home run for Cal Rally, the catcher. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We were trying for a highlight reel play to end the game. No harm, no foul. New manager, we fired Ollie, that piece of shit, so we don't have to deal with him anymore. Here it is, first inning, Nolan Gorman goes deep. Got us going. All right, everybody had a hit. Donovan one, Naylor two, Arnado two, Gorman three, <clears throat> Walker one, Newt Bar three, Contreras two, Edmund two, win one, home run by no uh, Gorman and Naylor. Sonny Gray, five innings, nine strikeouts, only three hits and a walk. Bullpen, other than that diving attempt, held them hitless. And yeah, that was a good way to start the season. So draft-wise, we're going to be picking in the bottom quarter of the of the draft every round. So we are going to really have to focus on discovering players because there's really not going to be a whole hell of a lot for us to pick from every round. So we need to try and find some guys that no one else has found. So that's going to be a, a big thing for us is discovering players as we go forward. Um, let's save this. All right. And I said we we're going to go down to AAA Memphis. And we're going to player lock on Andrew Painter for his first game as a Cardinal member of the organization. <laughs> oh, we're going to face the Twins. They have Brooks Lee and Emmanuel Rodriguez and Walter Jenkins. They got some good players. Jenkins is one of the top five guys on the uh, prospect list. <clears throat> St. Paul Saints and the Memphis Redbirds. Jordan... Blazovic. All right, Painter. 
I don't know why he's wearing number 76. I thought I fixed his number. Apparently not. And the good old bunt single to start the game. Hit the middle. There's one. And they get two. Wow, slow runner. There's Brooks Lee. Rips that foul. Why is everybody wearing these stupid numbers? There we go. His first K is a member of the Cardinals. Man, everything has a downward tilt on his pitches. Everything is going down. Grab, throw, got him. There we go. That's through. That's Jenkins. That dude is uh, very highly rated as a prospect. Let's go. This guy's a former first round pick by Toronto. Six, four, three. Two innings, two double plays. Got like that. I'll take that every day. Grounded to short. Bad throw. Took that off the shoe tops. Got him with a cutter. Release point is all over the place. Off the end of the bat. It was a good pitch and he got penalized. This is the guy that bunted for a hit first time up. Fuck you. Sit down. Rolled over, go to second, and uh, we're through three. 
Two nothing lead. Ground ball to third. Scoop and a throw. That's our uh, dude, or Elvis Martinez, that we got from Toronto. He's our third base prospect that hopefully will progress up the next two years and we can just slide him into third to replace Arnato. Otherwise, we'll move Gorman over to third. Go get a second baseman. That's roped up to the corner. Is he going to get there? Yes. I think that's Elijah Green. Hung that thing. Jeez, this should have been hit a long way. Clip the corner. See if we can drop a curveball right there. Yeah. Change up. Ground ball up the middle. Snag, throw, Sagacy. Couldn't make the play. I was looking for the throw and he fumbled the ball. Pop up. Go get it. Go get it. It's Luke and Baker. Got it. All right. Through four. Rolling along. Ground to the third. Scooping a throw. Got him. Like these one pitch at bats. Ooh. Kind of annoyed we didn't get that call. Yeah. They suck when you're hitting. They're great when you're pitching. <laughs> I have way too many one-pitch ABs when I'm batting. Another ground to the third. Throw easy out. Even when I'm doing Diamond Dynasty and I'm playing on Rookie at Colorado, just grinding for XP and stuff, I got to I gotta not swing at the first pitch every time. Otherwise, we'll get to the sixth inning and their pitcher's thrown 29 pitches. And I'm like, why am I not scoring any runs and cores? Well, you're swinging at the first fucking pitch every batter. This isn't a home run derby. Oh, revamp. I was playing home run derby the other day. I hit a ball 514 feet. <laughs> I hit one in cores that hit above the seats in the upper deck and it hit the fucking concession stand. case doesn't say home run. Victor Scott with a home run that's our speed dude in center field he's got a home run that's five K's that's five K's this guy has a pretty good K per nine as well so he's going to get strikeouts I think he's rather tall too um show it I think this guy's like six seven or some shit that's why everything is downward plane on his pitches need to go 
on minorleaguebaseball.com and find out what his real number is because we're not we're not playing with these 76 numbers. Didn't chase. Takes that right down the pipe. <laughs> hey, you're not going to swing the bat. That's your problem, dude. Ooh, man, how did that miss the zone? Take the bag, thank you. All right, three nothing through six. Missed my spot completely. Yeah, hung that one. That deserved to get hit a long way. Off the wall, jeez Louise, that was a bomb. How far did he hit that? My son gave up a home run like that one time, and I was like, he hit the hell out of that, didn't he? He wasn't happy with me. <laughs> we were playing for a, a team that had uh, a guy that would call pitches, and we just came from our team where we let the pitchers call the pitches. And he kept wanting him to throw a fastball to this really big, heavy set dude. And Kyle's like, no, I'm going to throw him four curveballs and I'm going to send his ass back to the bench. And he kept insisting that he throw fastballs. So he threw him a fastball and he hit it for a home run. So I told the coach, um, next time let him pick his fucking pitches because he knows how to pitch. And this guy got a home run when he would have been walking back to the bench, struck out on four curveballs. So you, th you might think you know how to call pitches, but he's well aware of how to, how to work batters and uh, what stuff that he has so uh, yeah don't let your fucking ego get in the way of us getting a win here dude seven is that gonna be it yep new pitcher john king and we get the win i don't think we got the uh i don't think painter got the win because i think the bullpen blew the lead yeah we went extra innings we blew the lead in the ninth fucking closer seven innings six hits no walks one run on that long home run Six strikeouts. So that was a good debut. And I'm going to go find what his number is right now because 76 is driving me insane. He does wear 76. Why? It's got him with the fighting fills with 29. So we're going to give him 29. All right, calendar. Tanner Bybee. Luis Castillo, we're just going to straight sim. We're an hour and a half in, and we're only two days into the season, so we're going to get some simming done. And we get the win, 5-3. to three. Brendan Donovan with a home run. Naylor with another home run. Edmund and win with steals. Bybee, three runs in six innings. Bullpen did their job. I 
All right. And uh, Walker Bueller, his Cardinals debut. We I would normally like player lock on this, but I want to I want to player lock on this, and we'll do a lot more quicker simming as we go. And we get an eight to seven win. We sweep the Mariners. Nolan Arenado, Nolan Gorman, Tommy Edmond, and Mason win with home runs. Steal by Walker and Contreras. Bueller gets lit up a little. Six runs in five innings. Zach Thompson comes in and shuts him down, and Sandley gets a save. Okay. This is the home opener. We're just going to sim because I want to play player lock with Scherzer on this one. And we lose 4-1. to one. Christian Walker and Teoscar Hernandez with home runs. Brandon Fott does well. Matt's, eh. Bullpen still doing their job. Look at the Pirates. Look at this. Why are the Pirates doing so good, you say? Because they signed Juan Soto. <laughs> and Pete Alonzo. <laughs> these are, and Tyler O'Neill, these are not your dad's Pittsburgh Pirates. That's Soto's contract right there. And there's Alonzo's. They're all backloaded. <laughs> I don't know. Alonzo and Soto. That's one way to buy yourself into contention, right? We did that with Oakland. We did that with Colorado. Um, also, oh, yeah, yeah. Look, hold on one more. Shane Bieber went to the A's. For 19 and a half mil a year. And Verdugo. And we could have traded for this dude for almost nothing. This is the guy that we wanted in the draft. This is the dude that has 99 potential. And we could have got him for nothing. I don't know why they were willing to trade him. But we could have got him. We also could have got Soderstrom. But yeah, they signed Shane Bieber. All right, Mad Max. Here we go against Zach Gallen. Gallen is a free agent at the end of the season. And we're going to have 90 million to spend. We traded Gallen and Alcantara to the Marlins for Ozuna. All right. Nothing out of the ordinary, although they have Jack Peterson and Teoscar Hernandez in the middle of the lineup. There he is. There's the man. Mad Max, 40 years old.
in with the grab, throw to first, one down, here we go. Popped it up on the infield, there we go. <coughs> like that one pitch at bat after having to work a little on the first one. He had to wait forever for that pitch, didn't he? <laughs> it's like playing wiffle ball. Buried that deep inside. Got him. All right, done with Mad Max photos. There we go. Get there, get there, get there, Donnie. Yes! Diving catch. Oh, No swing, really? There we go. Got him.
Get there, Donnie. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Nope. Fucking home run. God damn it. One bad pitch. I should have just walked him. Ooh. Just missed my spots. Fucking Donovan with the false step. Pitch around that. <clears throat> Got that run back. Five, four, three. There we go. One run allowed in five innings. 
And we got a run. So we got a 2-1 lead here in the sixth. Nine pitches, pitch number seventy. Renato's got it. Throw, easy throw, slow runner, got that, two down. Carol got all that. I think we got a tie game, boys. Let me cap it in the park. He's going to go for three. Throw to third. Not in time. All right. Well, at least there's two outs. They're going to need a hit to get this run home. that pitch <clears throat> fuck We lost seven to two. The final for the <laughs> Gallon gives up ten hits, but we only score two runs. Well, not how I envisioned that game going. Sonny Gray against Jordan Montgomery. Montgomery goes seven shut, I'm sorry, eight shutout innings, but doesn't get the win because Buck Farmer blew it in the bottom of the 10th. Sonny Gray, eight shutout innings. Gallegos gets the win in relief, even though he has a 20 ERA. Home run by Arenado. Walk off home run by Arenado. Where have we seen that before? All right, we're four and two, and we're tied with Pittsburgh for first. All right, home games against Colorado. Um, Feltner and Quantrill. Is Feltner a lefty? We're going to play our lock in this game. And we'll just start at the top of the list. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the Rockies signed Glaber Torres in the offseason. I do love the Rockies purple jerseys. They're one of the nicest in all of baseball. It's a nice color of purple, too. Ah, swung over it. I 
And it used to be darker and they, they brightened it up a little bit. Chasing, chasing, chasing. As soon as I hit the button, I knew that was a bad pitch. All right, scoreless game here in the fifth. Damn, God, it says weak contact on good timing. I'm just slightly under the ball. It felt like I hit a fucking bowling ball. Look at that. It's right down the middle. I don't know how anybody can say the hitting in this game is good. We know the fielding in franchise is god awful. One nothing here in the ninth with two outs. Sandlin in trying to shut down this win for Bybee. <clears throat> Here's the dub. No, they tied it. He had to wait for it to go through, and I hit a wrong button, which threw my camera way off. <clears throat> All right, Josh, you're due, man. 0 for 2. Fly ball, win this game. Struck out. All right. Should be Arenado for the win. Three and two count. Two outs. Draws walk. Now it's going to be Nolan Gorman with the bases loaded and two outs. And that's going to win it. Infield hit for the win. All right. And that's a winner. That's a winner. Good game by Feltner. Three hits for an Arenado. Two for Gorman. Look at that. Bybee, seven, seven shutout innings, nine strikeouts, nothing to show for it. Sandlin with the uh, blown save, but he gets the win. And uh, let's play a lock on this one, too. No, let's not. And we win six to three. Now we can look at scouting. Home runs by Newt Barr, Walker, and Donovan. Bueller bounces back. One run in seven innings for the win. Sandlin gets a save. All right. Here are our scouts. So our top scout has 98 efficiency, and pitchers are 91. Our second guy, 98 efficiency with 98 position players. And this guy has 97 discovery. So I'm $600 off from being able to afford this guy, which would have been 97 efficiency with 95 position and 90 pitchers and 97 discovery. This guy is pretty awesome, but we were $600 away from affording that. So um, scouting. So we need pitchers. We need... We don't necessarily need catcher. We need... Um, Go left field, right field. And this guy is going to discover pitchers in the international region. And this guy is going to scout starting pitchers in the international. 
and he's going to scout players. All right, so the number one guy is the second baseman. Hitting is kind of okay. Great power, though. Closer, closer, reliever, closer. That's four. Reliever's five. Six. So six closer slash relievers in the top ten, roughly, means this is going to be a really crappy class unless we can discover some players. There's another reliever. All right, so we're picking at 24, so we're going to have to start scouting right around this range. So let's scout this Sheldon Parks dude, because he's right at our pick. Put him to number one. And we're, we're going to have to discover either some really good pitchers or find some position players, because we are picking... What did it say? Twenty four, sixty, ninety eight, one twenty eight, one fifty eight, one eighty eight. So twenty fourth in every round. It's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be. You usually don't find a lot of good position players that have decent overalls later in the draft. So if we can find another quality starting pitcher in round one, maybe a hitter in round two, and the other four rounds would be, you know, whatever. Maybe we can discover a good pitcher. Maybe we luck out, get another position player. I don't know. With that many relief pitchers and closers at the beginning of the draft, striking me as uh, not a very good deep draft. So... Not every draft is good draft. <clears throat> Let me save this. All right. Yeah, we still got three full, three full weeks, three and a half weeks to go. So let's just uh, get in here and get some. We'll do some more player lock in here to get past Colorado. And we lose six to four. Walker and Newt Bar with home runs. Mats. And we almost went after Freed and traded Mats. Don't make me uh, wish I had done that. Oh, Scherzer and Burns. I'm going to play a lock with Naylor. Just going to go down the list. This will be our first time seeing Corbin Burns on the Dodgers. Or as Pujols used to say, the Doyers. Not doing too well. 5.14 ERA. Alright, one on, nobody out. Let's go, Josh. One thing about Dodger Stadium, they have a good backdrop. Nice and clear. It's dark. You don't have to worry about any fans being in there. Ah, I decided to swing before Paul even came out of his hand. Let's go. That was a nasty cutter. I'm swinging here, and it ends up here. All right, let's have a better AB. Hey, we're up two nothing. Lay off that shit. We could have signed Burns. Um, I wanted uh, a cheaper guy in Bueller. We spent about twelve and a half million on Bueller and Scherzer. Would have had to spend over 20 to get Burns. All right, second and third, two outs, down four to two. And it stays four to two. Down four to no. 
So what do you guys think of the moves I made? All those veterans I brought in. What's your opinion? We have too many good young players that are position players to like tank. Because we would we'd have to replace all those guys with, you know, and it, that would take us six, seven years to do that. But we're just looking at pitching. We can always find pitching every year. And if we can develop some of our own. Ooh, what a pitch. It looked outside and snapped off at the end. All right, now I got a lefty in here. Quit chasing sliders. Stay inside. Inner half. Inner half. We don't look down and away. We look right here. Right there, and it's a 6 4 3. Great contact, smoked it on the ground. And we lose six to four. Somebody hit a walk off. Oh, Otani with a walk off two run homer. Arenado and Gorman hit home runs. Scherzer, yeah. Otani, Betts, Lux, Outman with home runs. All right, boys, we got a sim better than this. Alright, Sunny against Yamamoto. And we win 9 to 6. Nolan Gorman with another home run. Gray got lit up, but the bullpen did their job. Yamamoto 3, but then Joe Kelly and Dustin May both ate it. And we lose 2 to nothing to Kershaw. Bybee gets bad luck here. Shohei with a two-run homer in the first. That's all he needed. Kershaw must have gotten hurt. Two and two-thirds, and Bobby Miller comes in. Tight spot, your notifications keeping me from seeing who's hurt. Um, they have a dude with a fractured hand, so I don't know what happened with Kershaw. He left early. All right, Bueller against Alex Wood at the A's. Wood's a lefty, so yeah, let's go in here. Because this is going to be at my ballpark. Look. As soon as the stupid game gets me to this page. Here we go. Treehouse Park in Oakland, 2.0. Nolan Arenado's turn. See, they flipped Naylor and Gorman in the order. I'm not sure why. Computer loves to change shit. I didn't tell it to change anything. There we go. You guys should be familiar with this ballpark. I made a few changes to the outfield wall, and we added seats up above, just underneath the scoreboard in right field. Added some bleacher seats. Look up above where those nut retired numbers are. I added uh, a new marble facing. And we have seats up there now.
like you got enough. It's just going to long fly ball. Went down and got it, but I didn't hit it good enough. All right, back up, man on first again. Come on, Alex, hang me one. Let me hit it to the moon. Let me hit it to the moon, Alex. It's a good sinker. Trying to shoot that to right. Got a piece. Oh. Late on a hanger. Battling. Come on, make a mistake over the middle of the plate. Come on, come on. Take the walk. Not gonna reach. Two on, nobody out. Come on, Josh. Park one. And that's gonna be a double play. Now we're gonna need to hit the guy, drive that guy in from third. And didn't. Now we got bases loaded. We haven't seen this view of this park before. Jim. We gotta fix Bueller's glove. Still no score. This is the third straight time I've been up with a man on first base. And he's gonna get thrown out. No, he stole it. Wow. That's Tommy Edmond. Looked like Nolan Gorman, I thought. That's alright. Edmund must be batting the leadoff. Ah, let me chase that. There's a hole over here on the right side if I can drive it over there, get this runner home. Terrible. Just terrible. All right, up to nothing now, man on second. Oh, look at that. Go, go to third, let's go. All right, ground ball to the right side, fly ball anywhere, should get us another run. Infield's in, let's get it past the infield. It's the wrong dude. God damn it. All right, four nothing. We've been up with men on base every single time this game. Swing right over. All right. Not a very productive uh, game at bat. Okay, 
Hey, Duvall with a solo homer. 5 nothing win. Bueller go the distance? Yes, he did. Contreras and Edmund with steals. Bueller, 7-hit shutout with 10 Ks. Yeah, that's what we paid him for. No, it was Oakland, but you still got to play the games, right? And we'll send this one. Got to set our scouts. Four to one win. No home runs. Steal by Edmund. Mats was good. Romero was good. Sandlin was good. All right, scouting. So this guy is getting better. He's got great contact, vision, discipline, speed, reaction, and fielding. His arm's not that strong, but at second base, he doesn't have to be. So if he keeps getting higher on our rank, he may not last to us. But if he does, I would gladly take this guy. Uh, we found starting pitching. Those are not ranked. So this guy, Corona, Billy Corona, home runs per nine is pretty bad. Raymond Tan. South Korea. Enrique Borbone. Good velocity. All right, we're just going to keep it the same. And we'll sim this game. Scherzer gets the win. 7 to 5 win. Home runs by Donovan, Naylor, Newt Barr, and Contreras. Four innings. Scherzer gets his first win as a Cardinals. ERA is six. We're going to have to work on that. Sandlin gets his sixth save. And we're a game behind the Brewers and the Reds now. The Pirates. Man, the Cubs. Specter, you still in here? Cubs are 5-11, and 11, man. They're, uh, they're having a rough time this year. Everybody else is getting better. I haven't looked at stats all year. All right, Nolan Gorman hitting 404. Whoa, 404 with five bombs and 13 ribbies. Jordan Walker, 322 with two. Josh, 321 with three. Edmund, 293 with four steals. Newt Bar, 327 and three. Donovan, 319 and three. Arenado's got four. Mason Wynn struggling. Davis has only played in two games, but he's got three RBI. Bueller, 2 0 with a 291. Bybee, 1 1 with a 225. Gray, 1 0 with a 289. Mats with a 476. Mad Max, struggling just a little bit. He's still regressing. If we have to get rid of him at some point during the season, it's not the end of the world. We got guys in the minors we can call up. Bullpen, Barlow's doing good. Sandlin, Chapman's not doing bad. Romero, 10 Ks and five and two thirds. Penn Murphy, yeah. Sandlin's our closer. Soto, 306 with four home runs. Alonzo, 207 with three. Ellie Taylor Cruz hitting 175. All right, at Frisco against Blake Snell. Um, Harrison, I got three lefties. My goodness. All right. Well, player lock. And we haven't done Gorman yet. Let's uh, let's. See him for Donovan. Let's go with Adam Duvall. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we still haven't player locked on Gorman. And then the bottom guys of the order.
Get a little hungry, boys. little on top of that one. One nothing on one hit. So unless he walks some guys, somebody hit a home run. It's like Nolan Gorman. Alright, three nothing now. Looks like the bottom of the order got busy last inning. Ah, right down the middle, that was late. That was Andrew Kittredge. She pitched uh, for us last year. Alright, still three nothing, one out in the seventh. And that's a rocket into the gap and by me. Couldn't see where it was telling me to go. I wasn't sure if I had a chance to catch that or not. All right, Tristan back in. Still 3 nothing. Oh, and he fouled out. God damn it. Oh, no, it dropped on the other side of the screen. Lucked out. There we go. There's a base hit to right. Keep the inning alive. Got the dub. Sonny Gray. Complete game three hit shutout. That's what we like to see. <clears throat> no home runs, but three doubles. Three hit shutout with nine Ks. There we go. And Wilmer Flores had all three of their hits. <laughs> all right, we're 11 and 5. And we're still a game back of the Reds. Dodgers are 13 and 6. Astros are 11 and 5. The Royals are 10 and 6. The White Sox are 10 and 7. What the fuck? There you go, revamp. Rangers are 14 and 4. Nathaniel Lowe, 412 with three home runs. Simeon, Garcia, Tavara, Tavares. Evan Carter's not doing much. Langford's not doing much. Seeger's doing nothing. Goldschmidt's doing absolutely nothing. But look at those ERAs. Eovaldi, 119. John Gray, 198. DeGrom, 169. <laughs> wow. All right, let's just straight send this one. And we win seven to six. Duvall with two home runs. Gallegos is still getting lit up a little, but the rest of the bullpen did their job for the most part. Kittrich gave it up. All right, Walker Bueller. Nope, lost four to six. Six to four. Austin Slater. 
Steals by Merrifield, Naylor, Walker, Edmund, Bueller pitched well. Murphy did not. We're two games back of the Reds. Got a four-game win streak going. All right, the Braves, Chris Sale. It's not yet time. Oh, remember we faced Atlanta without Strider because he got hit with the head with a line drive and missed most. He only pitched nine games last year, so. Uh, Scherzer, huh? We'll play a lock on Contreras. Nothing changed in their lineup. They have the exact same team as last year. Although they did lose Max Freed. Why am I catching a pitch here? All right. They scored two in the first off Matt's. Here we go. It's a base hit. How did he? I thought that ball bounced in front of him. How did he catch that? I thought that skipped into his glove. Gonna catch pop ups. Yeah. Pull my hand inside. I see that right, Kyle Gibson. For the Yankees, I was not prepared for that. AB, all right, down one in the sixth, one out. That was that was rough pitch. I was giving me a strike whether I swung or not. Dude, get out of my kitchen. Six clutch, so just find some green somewhere. Like that. It's not going to score, but we got bases loaded and one out. <laughs> <clears throat> Refresh your stream, guys. Come on, Lars. Find a gap. Yep. That's going to score two runs. There we go. One run game, only one out. And Kiermaier is going to run for me. And we win. 
There we go. Tommy Edmond, two RBI single. The Cardinals come from behind and beat the Braves 6-5. to five. Four runs in the eighth inning. Home runs by Acuna and Matt Olson. Iglesias got lit up on that one. Edmund, two hits and four ribs. Arnado, three hits. Newt Bar, two hits. Home run by Edmund. Matt's was uh, Chapman. Uh, everybody else pitched well. <clears throat> oh, Scherzer and Strider. <clears throat> We're going to play like with Gorman. I want to pitch with Scherzer every fucking time, but I can almost guarantee you that every month, every episode, we're either going to have a full game pitch by Scherzer or we're going to play lock on a game with Scherzer. So just get used to us pitching with Max because he's probably going to retire at the end of the year. And, uh, I want to pitch with him. Oh, that's rocked. Get over his head. Get over his head. Get over his head. Off the wall. That's a double and an RBI. Yes. Just missed a home run. 108 mile an hour exit velocity. All right, Jordan, your turn. Why are you diving back to second? It's the third out. <laughs> the fuck? Three to nothing. We did some damage in the second. Some nasty pitch. Let me give him credit on that one. All right. Turn two. One. And two. There we go. That looked like a big old fat meatball. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Back to the track, to the wall. Caught up against the wall. God, thought I had all of that one. Hmm. Just missed. Take the easy throw. Three nothing after eight. Let me face Tyler Matzik. One on and two out. This guy throws gas from the left side. And then we foul out. Sorry, right, I'll take the dub. We did get an RBI double. Just missed a home run. And it's a win for Max. Two wild pitches by Strider. Hit 11 strikeouts. Seven shutout innings for Scherzer. Gets his ERA down in the low fours. Sandlin's ERA is under two now with nine saves. Donovan, three hits. He was the star outside of Max. All right. Scherzer outpitched 
Strider. Gotta like that. Gotta like that. Yes. All right. Sunny Gray, 2 0 with a 195 against Lopez. Um, let's do Newt Bar. We're going to do at least two more games of player locks because I want to do Edmund and I want to do Mason Wynn. So we do all nine guys in the month of April. And I might dip back down to the minors and do a player lock with one of our uh, other pitchers. Maybe go all the way to double A and go with our first round pick. Chris Cutliff, that's an idea. Cardinals wearing our Saturday cream. at the corners and two out need a big clutch hit here it's already one nothing extend this lead well too much of a line drive good contact still one nothing in the third and we catch it man we just can't see where the fucking ball circle is and I don't want to use the right stick to move the camera because then I'll I'll run away from it. And we're losing two to one now. <clears throat> Another rope right to the fielder. Terrible throw. They were up four to three now. Just scored three runs the last inning. I don't know what happened there. Had to be a bomb by somebody. Oh, we out in front of that. Let's find out. Nolan Arenado. Two run blast. There we go. Base knock, finally, after two rockets that were caught. Nine million hopper up through the right side there. Worm burner. All right, one out, three and two count. Come on, Wilson. All four, take that. Scoring position now. Come on, Tommy, two bags. That's a three-run blast. Woohoo! So it's on Tommy four bags today. Seven three lead. Tack on some runs. Let's go. Chris Sale is in relief. What the hell? He just started two games ago. Now it's 12 to 3. My goodness. 11 runs since the fifth inning. Right over the 
top. Oh, Jesus. Terrible, terrible, terrible at bat. Just ridiculously bad. Doesn't matter. Game's over. Kick their ass. 12 to 4. Three hits for Acuna. Matt Olson with a homer. Three hits for Arnado. Two for Gorman. Three for Edmund. Two for Win. Home runs by Arnado, Edmund, and Win. Steals by Gorman and Edmund. Sonny Gray doesn't pitch great. Still gets the win. Chapman, two and two thirds of no hit ball with four Ks. That was just like a, a throw in signing at the end of spring train to keep him off Milwaukee. All right, scouting. So this guy is fully scouted and says he's at 25. He's 18, though. So if we really want to know, we'll have to scout him one more week. Um, I think I'd rather have that other week on someone else because I think there's a better chance of him getting drafted ahead of us because having so many of those other pitchers. So I don't want to waste this week. The splits are too tight. This guy's more speed and defense. He's got a little bit of pop. Decent speed and defense. Not much of a hitter. Good feeling, power bat. Not much contact. This guy's a better. But he won't be as high overall. He's 21 years old. Man. There are nothing in the way of hitting prospects. We definitely have to discover some hitters. Ugh. Let's check out Solomon Irvin, Irvine, right field. Don't have to change it. Found four more pitching prospects. Philip Horman, not rated, ranked 11th on our board. His walks per nine and hits per nine are not good. Bill Corona, Raymond Tan, Sean Gomez, he's overrated. Four bones, nines are terrible. Found some relievers, found the closer, but he's got wide splits. All right, that's three weeks in. We'll keep scouting, see if we can find this. Keep, keep, keep everything where it's at. We'll go look at Irvine. I don't think he's going to be worth a shit though, but we'll we'll see. Those gaps are just so huge. Man, there's nothing hitting wise. Cardinal Gaming, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I didn't see you right away. Cardinal Gaming, check it out. We signed Walker Bueller in the offseason. Four years, seven mil per. Signed Max Scherzer to a one year contract so he can end his career as a Cardinal. Just had a uh, seven inning, no runs allowed game against the Braves. We also traded for Andrew Painter, who's struggling at AAA. It's Tink. Tink's 295. Tacoa Roby, we got him from Texas, is doing okay. Graceffo, doing better. Yerpe, 450. Chris Cutliffs, 338. We're going to player lock with him. 
let me see. He's in double A, right? When did he last pitch? Crazy. Lindsay, McGreevy, Cutliff. So on the 24th, we're going to have to pitch that game against Arkansas on the 24th. So this Texas game, Scherzer and DeGrom. <laughs> Imagine that game five years ago. Going to the game today? Nice. Nice. I'm going to a game in June against the Giants with uh, one of my buddies, a fellow streamer, 49er George. Braves, you know, uh, that's the guy that beat us in game five of the playoffs last year. And he beat us again, four to three. Home run by Arenado. Fucking Sandlin blew the game, two in the ninth. <clears throat> All right, we're 15 and seven. And we're two games behind the red hot 17 and five Reds. Dodgers are 15 and 10. Look at the Giants. 17 and 5, best record in the National League. Rangers are 17 and 6, Astros are 16 and 7, Royals are 15 and 7. Who's on the Royals? Nobody. Nobody. They added nobody. They're just playing over their heads. Pasquantino with 20 ribs. Renfro hitting 343. Remember him from the Rockies. Seth Lugo, 092 ERA in 39 innings. Cole Reagans, 140. Not surprised that. But Lugo at 092. Wow. Okay, whatever. All right, so we're going to player lock on that pitcher on that day. So home against Texas, Walker Bueller and Jack Flaherty. You know what? Let's player lock with Walker. We don't have to bat. We'll pitch. Taveras. Carter, Seeger, Garcia, Lowe, Young, Simeon, Langford. Their catcher was hitting ninth. I think that was Huff. <clears throat> Big battle between two teams having a good season so far. There's Bueller. 2 0 with a 325. This will be a good test. This is a pretty solid lineup. Swings a pitch over his head. Went down and Reach for that knuckle curve. Got him to bound second base. I still got to fix that glove. I got to get rid of that Dodger blue glove. That's got to be uh, either black or red. A little flare by Carter for a hit. First base runner of the game. He's going for two, and he's out. That was stupid, Evan. That was really stupid of you. I'll take that. We all know how I feel about Corey Seager in this game. I put him on every team I did if I could. Ooh. How did he miss that pitch?
Goes the other way like I would do. Down into the corner. And it's going to be a double. Because they were shifted. Thank God we uh, had Carter run into an out. There's a Dolus Garcia. We gave him away to Texas. Got him to pop that all up. Go get it, Gorman. Get there, get there, get there. Yep, yep, yep. Revamp, you can't tell me that Adolis isn't on some sort of... Uh, where's where's my NWO icons? Oh, I haven't resubbed because I'm waiting for the uh, Prime sub to... Yeah, he's, he's, he needs to take a piss test. <laughs> Dude is three times bigger than he was with the Cardinals. hitting for over 400 and then he rolls it over to second take that that's the second knuckle curve we've thrown to get a weak ground ball to second base see if young wants to reach for this and we hung that in his eyes and he didn't swing Another weak ground ball, the second on a knuckle curve. That's three of those in two innings. This lineup doesn't get any easier. Thank God he pulled that foul. No swing, really? How does he turn on that pitch? That is up and in and four seam fastball. Thank you, Wyatt. Appreciate that. Totally abused that guy. Got to fix his number, too. He's not wearing 82. <clears throat> this knuckle curve is making him swing. Look bad doing it. Ground rule double. Got him. Back door on the knuckle curve. Thank you. That was a big pitch. Come on. Get there. Get there. Get there. Off the net.
That'll stay in the park. Here we go. Missed my spot completely. Made him reach. Go get there, Newt. Get there, get there, get there. Yes. Like weak contact. Go get it. Come on, Newt. Get there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can't believe you made contact. Just went with the outside pitch. Give him credit, man. Battled for that hit. Refresh, guys. Refresh. We just lagged out. Ground ball is second. Gets out of the out of the jam. Thought he might have thrown that in the left field. Just throw that ball to first base. You don't need to throw it to second with two out. Two nothing lead. Top of five. Newt Bar with the RBI double. Bar one down. There we go. Love those one pitch outs. <clears throat> Love that. Last two guys were one pitch outs. Save that pitch count in the middle innings. That is awesome. Those boxes right there where the show 24 sign is, I've sat in those boxes many, many times. My wife's former company that she worked for has boxes directly behind home plate on the lower level of the uh, box, the suites. Thank you, thank you.
Got him. Most dangerous guy in their lineup. Not even close. Found too much in the middle of the plate on that one. And then Newbar can't get that? God damn it. Third, Arenado throw. <coughs> One down. I'm just going to throw you the same pitch. Can you hit this knuckle curve? How about this slider? Thank you. Two down. Change up for Wyatt. Backdoor slider for Wyatt. Hmm. Yeah, I was looking for that call too. short win with the throw seven shutout innings for Bueller let's go one pitch pop up thank you thank you we might throw a complete game in the rain blame it on the rain right Millie Vanilli give you this change up. Let's see if you can beat this into the ground. Nope. Smoke shot to left. Laid on a cutter. <laughs> Didn't recognize. Got to recognize. Got to recognize the pitch. There we go. There we go. That's a high fly ball. Got under it. It's eight shutout innings. Let's go. Need more runs, boys. A couple more runs would be helpful. Nope. Getting tired. Yeah, I know he's getting tired. 99 pitches, starting the ninth. Gives up a hit, they're going to take him out. There's one out. Swing at that ball. The pitch was off the plate. Why don't you change up again, down and away? Ripped foul. I missed my spot. I'm going to throw him a fastball, and then we're going to come back with a knuckle curve if we don't get him on this pitch. Weak grounder to win. Throw to first in time. One out to go. Hey. 
know it's coming. Got him. Yes. <laughs> and that's a winner. That's a winner. Still got to fix his glove. Seven hit shutout. Scattered seven hits. Gave up four doubles. Pitched around four doubles. No walks. Six Ks. There we go. That's what we we're paying for. All right, before I forget. All right, Nolan Gorman hitting 366 with 5 and 15. Jordan Walker, 275. Tommy Edmond, 305. Arnado, 286. Donovan, 314. Newt Bar, 314. Naylor's down to 259. Contreras is up to 279. Mason Wynn struggling. Whit Merrifield. So I'm going to do something here, and I'm going to give Wynn a day off. <coughs> we are going to move Tommy Edmond to short. And we're going to go with Kiermaier in center field. Against lefties. We'll go you there. You there. Put Donovan in. Swap Donovan and Duvall. Give Wynn a few days off. He needs a rest. All right. Matt's and Dane Dunning. And it's a 73 win. Home run by a Garcia. Nolan Gorman, another home run. Steven Matt's pitched decent. Bullpen did their job. <clears throat> this is the day we're going to go pitch with that other guy. So let's go do that right now. Chris Cutliff. This is the guy we took in the uh, first round of this last draft. <clears throat> He doesn't have a lot of uh, stamina, so well, he does have 87 stamina. But in the minor leagues, they're not like, they're not going to let you throw a complete game, typically. So this team does not have a lot of uh, hitting. This team, our our uh, double A team, is not the strongest when it comes to position players. Arkansas Travelers used to be a minor league team for the Cardinals. Here we go, Chris Cutliff, first round pick, 21 Ks and in 18 innings. Might have to change his motion. Might make him uh, give him Pedro Martinez's motion as a lefty. second there we go quick throw <coughs> he had a curveball and a slurve and I changed his slurve to a slider I didn't want to have a, a curve in a slurve so we're gonna go slider curve kept the ratings and just changed the pitch style just smashed the third snagged and thrown 
Easily, one out. I'm sorry, third out of the inning. It's a rope down the line for an extra base hit. And that's going to get through, and they're going to score a run. That was a two seam fastball. I wanted a ground ball, just not a seeing eye ground ball. Get there. Come on. Get in there. God damn it. Three hits in a row. Not a good inning. My goodness. At least he caught that. It's not like they're smoking balls off the wall. Take that. That's our first curveball of the day. Let's try it one more time. Two seam fastball runs in that much, really? Let me get this guy. It's two foot tall. Fucking strike zone is the size of a fucking envelope. Get there. God damn it. And then he fumbles it away and gives up another run. Pitching clutch is 44, that's why. Yeah, he's going to need a good three or four years before we can think about him. Might have to take his training off of per nines and put it on pitching clutch. That was a brutal inning. Ooh. There we 
go. Need that K. Hello, Chica baby. How are you? What was the baby girl? Hmm? How was the baby girl? Looks like you need to go outside, huh? Here comes Zuzu. She heard us. Come on, let's go. Come on. Get down. Go get him. There we go. Almost beat that out. I think this guy's going to be a good pitcher to use once we get his uh, pitching clutch and his per nines up. I like his pitch mix. Not sure what that pirouette was for. That throw, got him. Right. Another grounder to second. There we go. All right, so we had one bad inning. Sit down. I don't know how you took some of those pitches.
DeGrom and Scherzer. And we win 5-4. to four. Home run by Seager and Garcia. Home run by Gorman and Walker. Scherzer pitched well. JoJo didn't. Sandlin with his 11th save. Scherzer is now 3-1 and one with a 381. We are 18-7 and seven and tied with the Reds. There we go. Three-game win streak. Dodgers are 17-11. and 11. Phillies are 16-8. and eight. Braves are under 500. Wow. Right now, Nolan Gorman is leading in the uh, National League MVP race, hitting 391 with 7 and 20, and we're not even done with the month. Judge, 354. Look at Brian Rocchio, 392. Cy Young. JP France is 6 and 0 in relief. He's pitching in relief, and he's 6 and 0. Spencer Strider, Peralta, Abbott. Just because of his strikeouts. All right, at Baltimore, Grayson Rodriguez, Sonny Gray. We're going to player lock. With uh, Tommy Edmond. And I think my dog's one in. What? You two need a treat? Nothing on a Santander home run. There's one, and there's two out of the jam. <clears throat> and the game's tied. Trying to wait on that pitch. Still stupid early. Didn't hit me. Stand there and let it hit you. It's a curveball. Won't hurt. Blowing in very stiffly. Ooh, got up on me really quick. It's got 15 RBI. Read that scoreboard. Yeah, jammed me. Refresh, guys. Refresh. Two 
Too slow. Get out of play. Nope. He get caught. And he didn't go to third on that. Three hits for Contreras, including a home run. Sonny didn't pitch bad. Chapman did. Santander, Mullins, and O'Hearn with home runs. Good game out of Grayson. Tanner Bybee. Last player lock, Lee Mason win. Got Walker and then win. Off the end of the bat. Bar and Contreras with home runs. See that? Back to back shots in the fourth. Oh, and Jordan Walker just got one. <laughs> Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Four twenty nine. That was a rocket. Way out of there. 7-2 lead now. Eleven to two. Hold on. <laughs> Four hits for Naylor. Three by Contreras. Two by Mason. Win. Home runs by Walker, Newt, Bark, Contreras. Win and Naylor. Goodness. Wow. We decided to show up today. Mm, right down the middle. <laughs> get under that too much. That's a ball game. 11 to 3. Our final line score tonight. First for the Victorian St. Louis Cardinals. Ivy's pitching really good. All right. We'll send this last game in Baltimore. We'll do uh Mason win in the next series. <clears throat> All right, last time we get to look at scouting before next episode. And this guy went from 68th to not rated, so he's no good. All right. 
Foreman. Corona. That split, man. It's almost 30 point split. Tan. Found in. You know, we already knew about Bork Bone. Nothing else. And our closer, so it hasn't been well. So, we have not been able to find very many international. So, let's go look at. <clears throat> We're not picking. Can two, we could. That's West. That's international. West. East. Central. East. Alabama Central. Central. East. Central. It's kind of a hit or miss, huh? All right, let's... You know what? He's going to scout this... He's going to scout international for this week and next. And instead of getting a jump start on the next region for pitching... I'm going to try and find some hitters. <clears throat> Let us go outfield international and see if we can't find something. And we'll change him. Roger Quintana. All right. Sim this game with Walker Bueller. Get pounded 10 to 8. Tommy Edmond and Jordan Walker. Two home runs apiece. Nolan Gorman with a home run. Edmond and Gorman with steals. Bueller gave up six, but only two were earned. Penn Murphy didn't pitch that great. Our bullpen's kind of all over the place right now. But Merrifield played first base, really. We emptied the bench that game. So we're 19 and 9. Still tied for first. Pirates spend all that money and they're already six games out because they don't have the pitching. Cubs bringing up the rear. All right. At Miami, AJ Puck. We're going to go with uh, Mason Wynn. He's batting ninth, so he'll probably only get three at bats unless we score a bunch of runs. Gorman's hitting 370. Edmund, 327. Newt Barr and Donovan are both doing real well. AJ Puck. Miami's already up 2 nothing with two outs in the second. Charge and throw. Nobody on. AJ, the former A's pitcher. A's prospect. Ooh. Try to pull that hand in late. Drive it. I will tell you that I have hit that scoreboard in a home run derby before. Not in a game, but in a home run derby, I hit that thing. <clears throat> Still 2 nothing in the sixth. Got to get some offense going here. Oh. Not like that. Off to the eighth. Puck is dealing. Four hit shutout. Get out of play. Get out of play. Get out of play. Don't you catch that? God damn. The ball stays in the air entirely too fucking long.
guess these programmers have not heard of gravity, right? And we lose. Five hit shot for Puck. Scherzer and Garrett, we're just going to sim. And we get a 5 to nothing shutout. Four hit shutout for Mad Max. He's down to a 294 ERA at nine strikeouts. Duvall, three run bomb. That's what we're talking about. Mad Max is four and one, guys. Four and one. All right, it's a four-game series against Miami. We'll just finish the first three games here. Sonny Gray and Yuri Perez. Yuri Perez has a seven ERA. And we win. Luke and Baker, you're fine. We haven't had very many injuries at all. Seven to two win. No home runs. Edmund with two steals. Sonny Gray pitched great. 21 and 10 at the end of April. Kyle Leahy did not pitch great. John King, eh. Kevin Navarro, 12 RB, 12 runs and 359 average in double A. Moises Gomez, 341 in triple A. Lindsey, he was a high floor, low ceiling guy we drafted. 30 strikeouts in 39 innings and 1.36 ERA in double A. Not bad. He's already like a 72, but we're going to leave him there. We need him to do well, so hopefully he has just stupid stats and it'll push his uh, potential higher. Takoa Roby, there you go, 29 strikeouts and in 31 innings with a 284 ERA revamp. That's who we got in the Montgomery deal. Roby and uh, Sagisi. One of those guys might have been for um, a reliever that we traded you. All right, check stats all the way around at the end of the month. Gorman, 374, 8 and 24 in one month. So multiply that by six, and we're looking at 150 RBIs and 42 home runs. Tommy with five, Arenado with six, Walker with six. Contreras only has six RBI. Donovan, not getting as many ABs on purpose, um, doesn't have the power. Win, just need to get him batting average up. Merrifield's doing his job. These guys are doing their job off the bench other than Kiermaier. That traitor. <laughs> uh, Pitching-wise, Sonny Gray, 4-1 with a 274. Walker Buehler, 3-0 with a 259. Taylor, uh, Tanner Bybee, 3-1 with a 272. Max, 4-1 with a 295. And Matt's bringing up the rear at 2-2 two two with a 450. Bullpen's a different story. Aroldis pitched well early, struggled late. Barlow hasn't allowed a run in 10 innings. It's all over the place. And Murphy's got a 6 ERA. Ugh. All right, double-A Springfield. There's nobody down here that we're really caring about. Pitching wise, there's Lindsay. When did we draft him? I have the draft in here. He was a fifth round pick. He's a 72 overall with 75 potential. And his stamina went down. Why? McGreevy's dominating, which I figured he would. Muth is pitching in long relief. Smith Shaver's struggling in double A. Radjic's got to get his walks down. Cutliffe is our first round pick. Triple A.
Dakota Roby, 5 and 1 with a 295. Cooper Yerpe, 3 and 3 with a 318. Gordon Graceffo, 2 and 2 with a 214. We might end up trading him. Painter, 1 and 3 with a 459. And Tink Hens is 1 and 3 with a 350. Mixed bag. Hitters, Victor Scott, 252 with five home runs. Look at that. His power is only in the high 20s, mid 20s. Five home runs, 10 stolen bases. Segesi, he'll probably be up in the majors with us next year. But he's, he's regressing on that. Couple, man. Elijah, we got him from Washington. Herrero is our backup catcher last year. Baker's doing what he does. He has no power right now. Yeah. Eh, eh. This guy's an A potential. He just doesn't have anything outstanding. Um, JD Martinez, 16 home runs in the month of April. What the fuck, Gus? He hit 54 last year with the Mets, and he's got 16 in April. <laughs> Spencer Torkelson leads the American League MVP. 16 home runs. Here's Ivaldi leading in the American League Cy Young. Rocchio hitting 396. Harper hitting 379. Clay Holmes signed as a free agent. 11 saves. He and Sandlin. Duran and Jason Foley battling it out. Here's the Rookie of the Year, Chase. David Arellano, Ariano. It's Dominican, so it's got to be Ariano. Looks like he's uh, one of those guys that his, uh, his overall is higher than his potential. So he'll fall off as the year goes. Adrian Del Castillo. What? Who the hell are these rookies? Kyle Manzardo. He's, he took over for Naylor at first. Xavier Isaac. This dude has some real power. Colby Mayo. All right. Tied with the Reds for first. Almost identical. 153 runs, 107 allowed. 152 runs scored, 109 allowed. We have yet to play a division game. So we went 21 and 10 over the first month and two games, three games. And now we get in, we get Cincinnati right away. So we'll, we'll send this game against Alcantara and then we'll get into this red series. Maybe we'll play this game with Max and then we have the Dodgers and then we go to Milwaukee, home for Milwaukee, go to Pittsburgh, go to Cincinnati, have the Cubs. So we've got six, Nine, ten games in May that are not division games. So the exact opposite of what we've been doing. So, all right, let me save this. We're going to call that a day. Three and a half hours, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the new format. If you don't, let me know. If you do, let me know. I'm trying to get a little more action in there. It's not just three full games. We can see more of the other teams. So, all right. That's going to be it for the day. Who is streaming that we can go raid? Daddy Demu. Not going to do that. He's playing golf. Param Crow. Chief doing dabs. Flick of the wrist. You guys want to go see Param Crow play football? He's got some impossible NCAA challenges going on. I'll go raid him again. I raided him yesterday. We're going to do it again tonight. So let's go raid Param. Good guy. You're going to say hi to him. We'll get this raid started. When you guys are ready, we'll head on over. And uh, you guys have a good rest of Monday. I won't stream again until Thursday. So you guys have a good two days, two and a half days. 
And uh, I will catch you Thursday late morning again. So take care. And I will see you over in, in uh, Param Stream. Thank mm -hmm. you.